Um, and bear with me as I make my comments because um, in reviewing tonight's agenda item, I did not see my name listed in this tab and um, was rather open to hearing what the board had to present with respect to this matter, but did not know that this was going to be an attack on the only commissioner that has called for us to even take the type of steps that the chairman has presented. So um, I'm a little surprised about that, but want to take an opportunity to address this fully. Commissioner Cupid did not cause the media firestorm. Public safety did. Were it not for their actions, we would not be here today. So let's at first try to examine root cause of a subject matter. It's easy to look at things on their face but critical thinking would have us ask why more than once of why something occurs. Why is Cobb County in the news? It is in the news because Brian Baker had an interaction with Mr. Lawson that um, was on video. Why was that brought to the media's attention? It was brought to the attention because Brian Baker brought that to the media's attention after consulting with his attorney. Why did Brian Baker and his consultant bring that to me the media's attention after talking with each other about the incident? Because they were so disheartened at Cobb County's response to Brian Baker, and they felt that simply moving an officer who was part of this subject activity from one department to another was not adequate. Why did they feel it was not adequate? They felt it was not adequate because if an officer was a problem in one precinct and he has had two public complaints, maybe it's not good to move him to another precinct. Well, why is it not good to move him to another precinct? Because if this officer cannot show discretion on the street when he knows he's on video, then what makes you think that he's not going to be brazen to do this again? We can continue to ask why. What we just heard here today from the head of Cobb County is part of the problem. They say things, problems trickle down from the top. And I will speak here today and say the problem is trickling down to the top. When you have people so brazen and disrespectful, you cannot tell me that doesn't permeate through how people in this, in this county manage their departments. When I saw the disrespectful to response to how I complained about my incident, certainly they are, not, are they not bolstered when they hear their chairman take these type of views? I am disappointed in Cobb County. This is my first term on Cobb County. I'm here in my third year in office. I looked up to this chairman sitting in the audience where we have um, constituents here today, thinking that they had our best interest at heart. I am disappointed in this board. This one agenda item today, you think that anybody consulted with leadership is talking to your team, especially if you're the chairman. If anybody has the ability to bring people together, it is you, Chairman Lee. But instead, I have seen you not just on this incident, but on too many. You are the source of contention for many issues on this board. I agree, Mr. And chairman, I'd like to call the question. The question I, is and and I, I would like to call the question, sir. I am, and I am asking to continue to have this book and continue to speak. The question because has been I'm called. Because be I'm going to be railroaded here. The question has I'm, been called. The, call, the question has been called. Call the question. Call the question. Call the question. We're taking a five-minute recess. Thank you. We are back to the December 17th Board of Commissioners meetings. Uh, during our break, I've been advised that Commissioner Cupid is going to be leaving the meeting, so she is absent for this point forward. Before we left, we had a motion and a second for the agenda item number one under tab four. I call the question. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Um, point of order. Um, yep. According to um, what we saw in Mrs. Dance's book, 
Um, calling the question requires a four-fifths vote, and if there's only four, it has to be a unanimous vote. Override it, not to call it. This, no, that's not what it says. Hang on a minute, board. What's the comment? I think all four of us have to agree to call the question. No, to override it. Right. We have a motion and we have a second. The chairman calls the question. Can we ask legal? Just mentioned, I've asked her. I've done it many times, trust me. Uh, Pardon me? Is it all right? No. no. Well, then I'll, I'll, I'll make a substitute motion to table this agenda item until our next January meeting. And that takes precedence on any other motion. I just need a second. Is there a second to the motion? I'll second it. Is there a second to the motion? Any other comments? Call the question. Motion fails one to three. Commissioner Burrow, Weatherford, and Lee in opposition. I refer back, commissioners, to the initial motion as presented under agenda item one. Do I need to read that for the record again? So the original motion stands. I'm going to call a question to that motion. And that motion carries. What is this motion? The motion, the original motion, as presented, three to one with Commissioner Otten in opposition. Takes us to tab five, our second public comment, Counselor. Our first speaker. There are, I'd like to call order. Ladies and gentlemen, it's up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Who's the speaker, first speaker, please? The first speaker is Stephen George. If you come forward, please. 